Being someone that used to build PCs for customers and just generally heavy into the PC scene back in the day, PC building sim was always a game I fancied trying. Proving that the sim genre doesn't really care what it attempts to give us in terms of simulations, is this overclocked to the max or a failure to boot? Find out in my quick review of PC Building Simulator on the Nintendo Switch. Whilst building and repairing PCs is the crux of the gameplay here, what draws me into PC Building Simulator is that it's actually a business management game. You take over the running of your Uncle Tim's small PC repair business, which has been run so poorly it's on his last legs. Somehow jobs are still coming in though, and you need to gratefully accept them if you're going to pay the bills. Whether it's cleaning the dust out of a PC case or running a virus scan, these tedious early jobs do get a little bit boring, but they're just a gateway to the good stuff. Pretty soon you're stripping down components to swap parts out, upgrading graphics cards to run the latest games, and eventually you're asked to build brand new PCs from scratch to meet customers' budgets. One cool feature I really like in this game is that you don't just magically have an inventory of stock to use. You have to go online and use the game's fictional web shop to search for the right parts, order them and then wait for them to be shipped out, usually arriving next day although you can pay more for same day delivery. I thought this was a fantastic touch and again really helps immerse you in the world of running a small business. I would like to have seen some parts arrive DOA or shipments go missing but still it's a nice touch. My biggest fear playing this on the Switch is how the controls would translate from the Steam version, but thankfully Romanian developer Claudio Kiss and the Irregular Corporation have done a great job. Whilst not 100% perfect, as just the nature of using joysticks over a mouse is never ideal, they have added in some nice quality of life features, like the way the mouse cursor softly snaps to the option boxes and how you can undo what would be fiddly tiny screws by just holding down the A button and being in the vague vicinity of the objects. These little touches are very much appreciated in what could have been a very frustrating game. In terms of mode, you have the main story or career mode, then you can also enter a free build mode where every real life component is at your fingertips from the get go, allowing you to build any PC you like. And then there's finally a very good building tutorial on hand to guide you through the basics of real life machine building. Graphically, I was initially a little bit disappointed in PC Building Simulator, as close up some of the textures can be pretty smudgy and blurry, but I'd say overall the game looks fine. Some of the text can be tiny, especially when viewing the calendar, but it's a small niggle, no pun intended. Music is another area I was initially baffled with. The lo-fi beats seem to jar with the more sedate on-screen action, but eventually I grew to understand the music is also part of the simulation, mimicking what you may actually have on in the studio rather than being a choice made by the developers to match the gameplay. Once I got over that, I quite enjoyed it, and in my playthrough, numerous people would comment on how nice the music was, so a thumbs up on that one too. Overall, I think the Irregular Corporation have done a stellar job porting this popular PC game, and it works on the Switch about as well as you could hope, and certainly better than I was expecting. I would say that even having the tutorial, I would still recommend you come into this game with at least some knowledge of real life PC building, especially when dealing with the bigger builds that need to meet certain benchmarks. Very little is explained in the career mode, and often I found myself thinking that if players didn't have knowledge of some of these things in real life, they'd be really stuck, so bear that in mind. But if you're looking for something a little bit different and chilled out on the Switch, then I can highly recommend this game. And I'm going to be scoring PC Building Simulator on the Nintendo Switch a 7.5 out of 10. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, goodbye everyone.